what we say and when we say it and where we say it. Travis, our son, um, played football up at SMS, which is now Missouri State, and uh, he was a punter and kicker for the team, so he was running on and off the field all the time. This man that was sitting in f behind me actually said um, the first time Travis walked on the field, he went, Pfft. yeah, right. And then when he said, all-American, right, I turned around and I grabbed the bottom of his shorts and I said, hey! Do you have a kid on that field? And he said, no. And I said, but I do. And every time he walks down the field, you have something ugly to say. I don't want to hear anymore. He said, okay. And he sat down. <laughs> Did he know the menopausal mother of the kicker was going to be sitting in front of him? No. Do we ever know who's around us? Who hears our words? Yes, problems are kind of like possums. You know, you're driving down the road and, and you hit a, a possum, you keep driving. You hit a dog, you'd stop. But if you hit a possum, you keep driving. I thought, well, that's almost spiritual. You don't always get the opportunity just to relax with other girls and, you know, and, and learn, too, at the same time. Um, actually, you find out that you have a lot of things in common with other people, and it's really... Um, very motivating and very supportive when you find out that other people are going through the same kind of things that, that you are. These crazy ideas that, that the media and Hollywood and whatever else are giving us. We get caught up and we identify ourselves with our husband and our girlfriends and our family and our children. And, and God wants us to identify with Him. You need to put a price on yourself and never go on sale. It's going to be a powerful day when, when the daughters of the King, that would be us, find out what one body, many parts means. I had a blast at Girls Night Out just learning a lot. Um, when Jill was speaking about shopping, I connect with her on shopping and just remembering not to mark myself down and um, that, that my thoughts are precious to God, that He thinks of me in that way is unbelievable and it's just something I need to be reminded of. We have a, a purpose and a, and a call in our life that can only individually be filled by us. And I'm just so thrilled that they came to our church and uh, got to share from their heart to ours. So thank you, Jill and Suzette. It was wonderful. Girls' Night Out was a lot of fun. Um, Jill and Suzette really brought scripture to um, everyday things, stories that really relate to everyone in the audience. Their heart is so transparent. And I learned about how to not put myself on a sale and that God uh, bought me for a price and that I'm special and unique. The book is, I've already read the book, so it, it's a fun, fun book. It's one you start reading you don't want to put it down. Worrying about them, two, three o'clock in the morning, still Is there worrying about them. Look at life about the same. I think women look at things with their heart a lot. I just hope I don't ever have to grow up. You guys, they, they, without us they'd be lost. And think about taking care of everybody else. Have my grandson first and kids later. Women analyze and men are very straightforward, black and white.